one of the things we're gonna talk about in this video is not focusing on too much, getting the right focus so that you get more out of every single practice. So here we go, check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Throws Nation. In today's video, what we're gonna talk about is focusing on one thing to fix five. Preseason's heating up, we're starting to do some camps, we're headed off to Australia, and we've just recently done some camps. So everywhere we're going, we're trying to instill in people to understand what to focus on. Throwing is one of those things that is very complex. It's a very technical sport, and one of the things that you wanna understand is you can get lost in trying to fix everything. And what we're trying to do, and what we do with the throwing chain reaction, we have two core missions. One we are trying to help more throwers and coaches improve and understand the throw faster by understanding what's happening in those two seconds and being able to provide a structure that's actually going to teach you how to master those two seconds or work those two seconds much more efficiently and two by doing that the big mission is to improve the sport and improve the recognition and the popularity and the way that we're going to do that is that we're not going to let talent slip through the cracks and that's been really our driving mission one of the things that we're doing is when we're teaching you one thing fixes five that's what we're talking about in the chain reaction. So many things in throwing are predicated on what you're doing beforehand. Many athletes can't hit certain positions because they're falling off balance. And if you're falling off balance, if I'm falling in this position, I'm not going to rotate through the finish. If I'm throwing sector fouls and I'm falling off, I'm not going to finish the throw. What got me to the point of falling off? What am I doing back here? If my block is weak and I'm always pulling around or I'm pulling my head, what am I doing in the throw that's causing that issue? So what I would do is encourage you to go back and kind of look at some of our videos and some of our things. And the other thing that I'm going to have you do is look at down below, we have a link for our free mini course and we have a new updated version of that coming for the discus, one for the rotational shot and one for the glide. So what we want to do in that course, we're going to kind of explain the system again. If you're new to throwing, you got to understand what to focus on. There's so many things. We have a fundamentals course. We have a like a 25 minute section just on terminology. Before we've even got into throwing, we have to understand what's the balance arm, what's the block arm, what's the delivery leg, what's an axis rotation rotation, high point, separation, stretch, reflex, radius, all these terms. So there's a lot to learn. We're trying to get you to understand. Don't focus on 50 things. If you're not investing in a program or investing in your time, check out our free videos. That'll help you more. Again, we are on a mission. We want you to be part of that mission. Don't try to go out to practice and fix 10 things at a time. Find the one thing that's going to fix four to five things. That's the lesson of today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment below on things you would like to see, and check out our camps program membership in the links in the description. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you on the next video. We want to start thinking about visual cues and so today what I have is set up and you'll notice I'll have my clock down and you're going to notice my red cones 